Hey guys, I am coming to you all as promised with a how to dress fall or fall fashion on a budget. So I have some clothes hanging up and I'm going to go through them one by one and just give some suggestions. I am no fashion diva by any stretch. I don't claim it. This was just a request and I'm going to share and I'm a little out of breath. Because the red skin is just one and I was screaming and I just ran upstairs to do this. So, okay. So first I have this uh, sweater or stadium blanket. I don't know why I said sweater. Stadium blanket. And this can be used and the angle is going to move, guys. So I do apologize. I don't mean to make you guys look sideways, but it's long. And... You can use this as a scarf, a poncho, a throw, like however, um, you know, you want to use it. They come in all different colors. I got this one through a subscription service, but I also got one you guys probably saw if you've been following me for a minute. Back in January, I had one on when I went to um, snow tubing. So, and it was, you know, comes in all different colors. That one was like bay, I'm sorry, brown, red, green, and blue. So you can dress it up or dress it down. So, um, and I got that one from Target for like $9.99. So a good staple item for the fall and winter is a stadium um, scarf. Okay. I think I called it a stadium blanket. I apologize. The next in fashion are these kimonos. Again, you guys have seen me with a black one with the peach colored flowers. This one is black and white. I got this one also through a subscription service, but you can get them. They're hot. They're everywhere. Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I got mine from Ross for, what did I tell you guys in the vlog last week, week before last? $9.99 or something like that. So again, you can put belts around these. You can dress them up, dress them down uh, with a skirt, with a maxi dress however you want to do them okay and that's your kimonos or dusters as they also call them another staple item i have and i'm just throwing them on my bed y'all um i got this one from marshall's tj maxx one of those during the girls weekend i showed you guys last october is a sweater this is a poncho type sweater I like oversized sweaters. You can dress them up, dress them down. Again, I do not remember the price for this, but like I said, I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So you, I, I want to say $39.99, but if you want to make sure and go check Girls Weekend Vlog 2016, October, go back and check out my vlog and you will see the exact price. But I love sweaters, so I'm trying to show you all the whole length. I've done this with jeans. I've wanted to work with a skirt, a longer skirt. Um, and I pair a long sleeve shirt under it. Um, like not a turtleneck, but you know, like the long sleeve t-shirts, but all you see is my arm. You could dress it up, dress it down on a budget. Get you an oversized sweater and rock it. Okay, and this is a cow neck. Um, that might be too much for you, but it works, especially when it's cold, because I stretch it out. <laughs> And cover almost my whole face. <laughs> All right. And don't look at my room. I just came back in town. All right. So then get you a, just a regular jacket. This one caught my eye at Ross. And I've shown you guys this in a previous vlog with the flower detail. Okay. You can wear this with leggings. You can wear this with jeans and a cute top and some cute flats or boots. This is an army green, so it is more casual, but you can rock it however. Ross for less, $21.99. Okay, I thought I, paid, thought I paid less than that for that, but this is still like, it has pockets with buttons. Just a really cute jacket, guys. Okay, like I said, you can dress this up. You can layer under this, so, because it's not thick, so you can put on a turtleneck, long sleeve shirt or a sweater and just put this on top okay i'm all about layering i'm a big girl so i like to uh layer so when i get warm i can take off a layer all right so this is just 
a blousy shirt. I've had this for years. Marshalls TJ Maxx, one of those. I don't know, but this, I just wanted to show you this as a look. I have this jacket. This is a bolero jacket I got at Ashley Stewart a few years ago. Again, I'm all about the layering. And just got a pair of jeans under it, okay? And there you go. You can do boots, flats, sneakers, Uggs, whatever. Again, I'm focusing on the layering. You can do a long denim jacket. Um, I've also done this with a maxi dress. I've done this ja uh, jacket with a long, just long skirt. You can do it with a short skirt. Um, so you need to have a staple denim jacket. All right, shoe wear. Don't look at my cords over there. Have a basic pair of ballet flats. I got red just as a pop of color. These came from the Nine West outlet last year. I got them on a deal like buy one, get one half off. Didn't pay more than $30 for these, if that much. All colors, I have black, I have a gray, I have a nude color, I have a brown ballet flat. I try to get them in all colors. I want a burgundy now. Okay, so that was that. Then you have your short boot. I got this from Target last year on clearance. I think it was like $19.99. So again, um, fashion footwear on a budget. Then you have your staple um, riding boot. This is Kenneth Cole Reaction. Of course, the tag you can't see anymore, but I got from Marshalls. I think they were $79. They are genuine leather, brown. And then I got my chucks. You can dress chucks up, you can dress chucks down. I see people at work with, just for instance, you may have on a pair of black dress pants, a blazer, and you know, the sneakers. You still can look casual, chic. I'm sorry, professional, chic. But if I have a business meeting, I'm gonna be real. I don't wear my chucks, but just every day, if I know I don't have any meetings, you can get away with it. I don't do it every day, but um, it's, if you have to do a lot of walking, I can justify it, okay? But if you work in a more casual setting, rock it. It's really cute. At one of my interviews, that's what the HR manager had on, and it was so cute. She had a pair of yellow chucks, blue pants, a blue blazer, and a shirt with yellow in it, and it was so cute. I thought she was like the cute, cutest, hippest manager. So... Just trying to think. I have um, a lot of scarves. You can always get you a bunch of scarves. You can get them at Target, Walmart, wherever. Hats. I should have shown you some of my hats. Matter of fact, let me show you guys some hats. Hold on. Guys, so I pulled out some hats. I got this at Marshall's or TJ Maxx last year. Uh, the price is off. I think I tore the, tore the tag off. But I think it was like $12.99. Again, if you have a cute beige, brown, orange, taupe sweater or whatever, you know, it's a little cool outside, you don't want your head uh, getting cold, you can throw this on, this uh, fedora. You can always rock a fitted for a more casual look if you have on your sweats, running errands, but you need to cover your head. Grandma would be mad if you didn't. You got your fitted, um, you know, your traditional, I haven't pulled out my winter gear yet, but your traditional uh, skull caps. Um, and then you always need a good scarf. This is a black scarf. I double it around. Um, sometimes I just let it hang. But yeah, guys, and none of this stuff is expensive. I mainly shop TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, Target, Macy's has good sales, occasionally Lane Bryant, but I got to have a coupon. Um, used to shop at Ashley Stewart a lot, but you know, I find stuff everywhere. Talk, I've even found cute things at Walmart. Don't sleep. Rainbow. Um, but I shop everywhere, but I try to find things on sale and with a coupon. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. Please share some of your thoughts, some of your fashion, uh, fall fashion budget items that you have found or 
what works for you and any kind of other information regarding fashion or, you know, coupons, where we should be shopping, where should we should be looking. I do need to start looking more on online places. Um, like I've heard of Winnie B. I've heard of a couple of other um, fashion places that, you know, you can get stuff, you know, at a good deal. I just, part of me, I still need to see it and feel it and try it on because a lot of times when I order online if they're made in China or something they don't fit right I have had luck ordering stuff from Amazon's um, but you gotta pick and choose with that as well so I hope this fall fashion on a budget was helpful if you have questions or want something see something I didn't talk about let me know and please share with someone like subscribe hit the bell so you can be notified I really need y'all's help growing my audience and I appreciate you in advance. Thanks. Have a great week.